ka, magkapin muna tayo. Welcome to our morning conversation and sharing through our gospel. Today's gospel is from the book of John, chapter 15, verses 20 to 16 and 1. It says, Remember the word that I have said to you. A servant is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they would also persecute you. If they kept my word, they will also keep yours. But all these things they will do to you on account of my name, because they do not know him who sent me. If I had not come and spoken to them, they would not have been guilty of sin. But now they have no excuse for their sin. Whoever hates me hates my father also. If I had not done among them the works that one else did, they would not be guilty of sin. But now they have been seen and hated both me and my father. But the word that is written in their law must be fulfilled. They hated me without a cause. But when the Helper comes, when I will send to you from the Father, the Spirit of Truth, who proceeds from the Father, he will bear witness about me. And you also will bear witness, because you have been with me from the beginning. I have said all these things to you to keep you from falling away. Thus, Far is the reading of our gospel for the day. So, what is God's message to us today? What is it for us based on the gospel for the day? Unang-una, medyo malalim. Malalim ang sinasabi ng gospel. Huwag uh, natin kalimutan because it came from the gospel of John. That is, John is, uh, writings is described as malalim def differently dahil iba siya sa three synoptic gospels. Pag sinasabing synoptic, ibig sabihin noon, Mark, Luke, and Matthew, nag may, may uh, anong tawag nito, lahat na feature ng kanilang gospel writings ay May meron silang halo-halo na hindi exclusive lang for Matthew, Luke, and uh, Mark. Sabi ng mga bata sa school ko before, nagkukopyahan lang daw silang tatlo. That's why sinasabing synoptic gospels. Anyway, they share same thoughts. Although different ang presentation individually. Pero ito si John, kasi the Gospel of John was written... Uh, may forgot the year. 56 or 76 years after pa when the Synoptic Gospels were written. So, masyado siyang malalim kasi buong na siya ng kanyang personal reflection coming from John. So, yun. Medyo malalim ang ating point, punto di vista ng ating ibagelyo. Pero let me uh, give you some kind of hindi naman madalian. Parang a point of reflection na madali natin maintindihan ang Gospel ni John. Okay? So, Jesus speaking these words shortly before His arrest. So, ibig sabihin nun, ang konteksto ng kanyang sinulat sa Ebanghelyo ngayon is more on hagubilin. Hagubilin assurances to his disciples dahil nga at the background 
ito yung part na malapit na siyang ma-aresto while praying in before that event happens pinangunahan na niya ang mga disciples itong gospel na ito they make is assuring excuse to his disciples na okay lang okay lang don't worry andito pa rin ako so titingnan natin a major theme in his words in the in his words in the gospel today is the reassurance to his disciples that during hardships they are not to worry because they are under his control yan ang point ni John that there will always be crosses along the way as they follow him but they need to endure the hardships because God is in control. Underline, God is in control. John 15, 18 to 27 predicts, predicts that those who follow Christ faithfully will experience hatred and persecution from the world. The intensity of this experience has varied according to time and culture, but the non-believing world is generally hostile to authentic faith like us Christians. Jesus reminds his followers this is due to sin and rejection of God by those un unbelievers. Jesus as Christians are never too good to serve as Christ served. They are never too good to suffer as Christ suffered. <coughs> In the following page passage, Jesus emphasizes that this warning is meant to bolster faith, to strengthen our faith when those hard times come to us. Last point, Jesus asks the disciples to remember something he said recently in John 13 verse 6. The first time this teaching was given, the servants are expected to do anything their master would ask them to do. Servants are not expected to be treated better than their master, but they are the ones who kept this world alive. In other words, servants, although reality is telling us, are not treated the same level level of treatment to or level of treatment the way a master, a teacher is being treated. But the most important thing is servants, tayo, kahit servants lang, in-acknowledge tayo ni Jesus. That they are, we are the one who will preserve, who are responsible for preserving His message into the world. And therefore, because they are, we are the ones who preserves the world, we are entitled we are acknowledged. We are uh, recommended. And, ano pa ba? We are acknowledged by Jesus himself as responsible for preserving the word of God to the world. So, yun ang ating challenge para sa ating mundo ngayon. If you still remember one of my talks sa 15 minutes, you still remember that elements entrusted, that's it. God created us. In His image, He created us intentionally, individually, and most important thing today in this gospel, He entrusted to us the world around us, the created world. But before God entrusts us the created good in this world, He entrusted to us the living word. word. That this word should be preached and should be shared throughout the world in order for people to know that there is a God who is among us, a loving God, who offered his life to the cross in order to save us, to save the corruption that is happening in the world and to save the world 
around us. I think that's the short message John in the Gospel today wanted to wanted to instill into our minds and into our hearts that Jesus suffers for us because he wanted to save us while he entrusts to us the creative world around us. So thank you, mga kapatid. Don't forget your coffee. See you on Monday.